We praise Allah. Glory and praise be to Allah. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi adada khalki wa riza nafsi wa zinat arshi wa midada kalimatihi. Glory and praise be to Allah. As much as the number of his creation, as much as pleases him, as much as the weight of his throne, and as much as the ink of his words, as much as his words are. And we send salam on the best of creation of Allah, the leader of the prophets, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As much as to fill the space between the earth and the sky. Today's presentation will be on Ramadan, but uh, on certain aspects of Ramadan. Two weeks ago, we talked about the do's and don'ts in Ramadan. Last week, we talked about the virtues, the exalted position of Ramadan. And uh, uh, this last week, over a couple of days, I went over uh, 397 ahadith from Muslim and then Bukhari. And I selected 30 from them that relate to Ramadan, to the rulings of Ramadan, Ramadan under various conditions, the etiquettes of Ramadan and so on and so forth. So I'll go over those. Some of those I hope will be of use to us. So 30 out of 397. And uh, firstly, because I started with Muslim, I will start with Muslim. Oh my goodness. This is actually not the, uh, the, the highlights, meaning uh, what are the different sections, virtues of fasting, etiquettes of fasting, various fasts, fasting in Muharram, fasting in Shaban, perpetual fast, continuous fast. No fast right before, before Ramadan, fasting on Fridays, fasting during journey, Sehri, Iftar, fasting in state of Junub, uh, impurity, which requires uh, obligatory bath, permissibility of breaking voluntary fast, fasting for deceased parents, kissing during fasting, breaking fast intentionally, cleaning teeth, generosity in Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr, Taravi. These last two sections uh, I simply added uh, not uh, from the 397, but uh, from what we already talked about, ju just so as to complete the various aspects of fasting. Now, hadith from Muslim and fasting, uh, I looked at 286 from uh, the section on fasting in Muslim, and I picked 25 of them. Uh, we talked about virtues of fasting, but this particular hadith uh, incorporates uh, some of the ha hadith that we, we mentioned. In one hadith, we have various uh, hadith combined together, talking about the virtues of fasting. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, and from now on to save time, I will not talk about or mention the person from whom the hadith originates. Uh, so from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Abu Huraira. So that part I will, I will skip for the most part. Allah the Exalted and Majestic said, every act of the son of Adam is for him except fasting. It is exclusively meant for me, Allah says, and I alone will reward it. So when Allah rewards, uh, the reward of the King of Kings would be something that we cannot imagine. Fasting is a shield. When any one of you is fasting on a day, he should neither indulge in obscene language nor raise his voice. So this falls under the etiquette of fasting. 
or if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, I am a person fasting. By him in whose hand is the life of Muhammad, the breath of the observer of fast is sweeter to Allah on the day of judgment than the fragrance of musk. The one who fasts has two occasions of joy. One, when he breaks the fast, he is glad with the breaking of the fast. And one, when he meets his Lord, he is glad with his fast, that his fast could enable him to meet his Lord. And that would be the most uh, rewarding uh, aspect of paradise, the sight of the Almighty. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, this is on etiquette of fasting. When any one of you gets up in the morning in the state of fasting, he should neither use obscene language nor do any act of ignorance. So no obscene language, no act of ignorance. And if anyone slanders him or quarrels with him, he should say, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. If anyone forgets that he is fasting and eats or drinks, he should complete his fast. His fast does not break if we eat or drink out of forgetfulness, for it is only Allah who has fed him and given him drink. He should consider that Allah has fed him and, and given him drink. The fast is not broken. He should continue with the fast. Rasulullah said, he who observed the fast of Ramadan and then followed it with six fasts of Shawwal. The section is various fasts. Six fasts of Shawwal, the next month that is coming. So out of the 30 days, 29 days, we fast for six days. And then we fast in Ramadan. It would be as if he fasted perpetually. He was then asked about fasting on Monday, whereupon he said, the day on which I was born, Monday is the day on which I was born, on which I was commissioned as a prophet and revelation was sent to me. And he further said, three days of fasting every month, 13th, 14th and 15th of the month, every year is a perpetual fast because three days in a month times 10 multiplied by 10, it is as if, as if he's fasting the whole, whole month. He was asked about fasting on the day of Arafah, ninth of Vilhutja, whereupon he said, it expiates, erases the sins of the preceding year and the coming year. When somebody fasts on the ninth of uh, Zulhijjah. He was asked about fasting on the day of Ashura, 10th of Muharram, whereupon he said, it erases the sins of the preceding year. Fasting on the day of Arafah erases the sins of the preceding year and the coming year. Fasting on the day of Ashura, 10th of Muharram, uh, uh, it, it, it erases the sins of the preceding year. Imam Muslim said in this hadith, there is a narration of Imam Shuba that he was asked about fasting on Monday and Thursday, but we, Imam Muslim, did not mention Thursday for we found it as an error in reporting. Uh, so fasting on Monday is established from this particular hadith, but fasting on Thursday is not established in this particular hadith, but it is established in a hadith from uh, Nisai and Tirmizi from a hadith from Nisai and Tirmizi, uh, fasting on Monday as well as Thursday are established. I'll not go through that for the sake of time. The most excellent fast after Ramadan is fasting in Allah's month, which is Al-Muharram. And the most excellent Prayer after what is prescribed is prayer during 
the night. After the five obligatory prayers, prayer during the night is the most excellent of prayers. That means tahajjud. And then uh, fasting in Muharram is the most excellent after fasting in Ramadan. Fasting in Shaban, Aisha radiallahu anha reports, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not observe fast in any month of the year, more than in the month of Shaban. And used to say, do as many deeds as you are capable of doing, for Allah will not become weary of giving you reward, but you would be tired of doing good deeds. Allah will not become weary of giving reward. You will be tired of doing good deeds in Shaban. And he also said, the deed liked most by Allah is one to which the doer adheres constantly, even if it is small deed. Small deed done consistently is more beloved to Allah than a lot of deed done, uh, but for a few days. So Rasulullah fasted in Shaban virtually the whole of the month, not the whole of the month. So after Ramadan, he fasted the most in, in Shaban, uh, which is the month before Ramadan. Perpetual fast, uh, uh, he was asked, Rasulullah was asked about fasting. No, sorry, I just want to mention the black part. Three days of fasting every month and of the whole of Ramadan every year is perpetual fast. I don't want to read the blue part for sake of time. The Apostle of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he who, he who observed, and this is part of a big narration, he who observed perpetual fast, that means he continuously fasted throughout the year, did not fast at all. He who observed perpetual fast, did not fast at all. He who observed perpetual fast, did not fast at all. He repeated it three times. And in another narration, Rasulullah said, there is no reward for fasting for him who fasts perpetually. No fast before Ramadan, right before Ramadan. Do not observe fast for a day or two days ahead of Ramadan, except a person who is in the habit of observing a particular fast. He may fast on that day. For example, a person fasts on Monday and Thursday, and let's say Thursday falls right before Ramadan, he can fast on Thursday, but not otherwise. Fasting on Friday. None among you should observe fast on Friday, but only that he observes fast before it and after it. So if anybody wants to fast on Friday, he has to fast one day before or one day after. Do not single out the night preceding Friday among the nights for prayer. And do not single out Friday among days for fasting, but only when anyone among you is accustomed to fast on days which coincide with this day, that is Friday. So we should not single out Friday for praying, the, the night before Friday for praying, only for praying and no other night. We should combine another night if we want to pray on the night before Friday. And we should combine another day if we want to fast on the day of Friday. Fasting during journey, we know that. About fasting on a journey, Rasulullah said, fast if you like and break it if you like. There's no problem. Suhoor, take meal a little before dawn, for there is blessing in taking a meal at that time. The difference between our fasting and that of the people of the book is eating shortly before dawn, shortly before dawn. Zayed bin Sabint radiallahu anhu said, we took meal shortly before dawn along with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We then stood up for prayer. I said, how much span of time was there between the two acts? That is taking of sehri and observing of prayer. He said a span of reciting 50 verses, which can take maybe five minutes. So they, uh, Rasulullah SAW finished eating Suhoor, Sehri, and then he started praying uh, Fajr Salat, and the span in between was roughly about five minutes. So about Sehri, you know, it uh, gives strength to the person. 
you can fast without sehri and you fast with sehri and you'll find that you have more strength uh, to fast if you eat sehri. There is blessing from Allah in eating sehri. It is a time when duas are accepted. Uh, it is a time when an angel uh, descends to the first sky on behalf of Allah Ta'ala and makes announcement who's there to ask for, who's there to make tawbah, who's there to ask for forgiveness, who's there to seek help. I will, I will respond. And then fourthly, there's, an, uh, there's also the announcement that who's there to lend to the being who does not default in repaying, including a lot of return along with the principal amount. So here there's mention of sadaka and as well as zakat. So we pay zakat and sadaka. We can pay throughout the month. We keep hisab and uh, we take account on a particular day in this month as to how much we have paid, how much we owe firstly, how much we have paid throughout the year, how much more do we have to pay? And we pay in, in Ramadan, uh, every obligatory act is multiplied 70 times. And every nawafil, every nafal gets the status of a fard. I'll post uh, a, a writing on zakat and the calculation of zakat, how to calculate zakat, because we won't have time for that. Uh, you can see it in our, uh, our uh, uh, group forum. So Sayri has tremendous blessings. Iftar, Rasulullah said, the people will continue to prosper as long as they hasten the breaking of the fast. And in another narration, he said that uh, the people will, uh, so this one says people will continue to prosper. In another narration, it is mentioned that the people will be on the right path as long as they do not delay in breaking the fast. Fasting in state of junub, when obligatory bath is needed, Aisha radiallahu anha said, the dawn broke upon the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa during the Ramadan in a state of junub, not because of sexual dream, wet dream, but on account of intercourse during the night and he washed himself and observed fast. And observed fast. So it's not necessary that we have to be in state of purity after dawn, uh, when dawn breaks to be able to fast. Permissibility of breaking voluntary fast. Aisha radiallahu anha reported, the, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came to me one day and said, is there anything with you to eat? I said, no. Thereupon he said, I shall then be fasting. Then he came to us another day and we said, messenger of Allah, hais, some sort of food, has been offered to us as a gift. Thereupon he said, show that to me. I had been fasting since the morning. He then ate it. He broke the fast. The point to note is, he is the best of creation and there is no food in the house. And then he breaks the voluntary fast. So one can break if one wants to, if it is voluntary fast. Fasting for deceased parents. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a man came to Apostle of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Messenger of Allah, my mother has died in a state that she had to observe fasts of a month of Ramadan. So she died, she could not observe the fast. Should I complete them on her behalf? Thereupon Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, would you not pay the debt of your mother? It, would, you, would you not pay the debt if your mother had died without paying it? He said, yes. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the debt of Allah deserves more than more. The debt of Allah deserves more that it should be paid. Kissing. 
Aisha radiallahu anha reported Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to kiss his wives while fasting and embrace them while fasting but he had the greatest mastery over his desire among you uh we should not try it we should not try it the scholars say this was an expression of love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and not lust and we should not try we should refrain from it otherwise we might be in this position in which abu huraira radiyallahu anhu reported that a person came to the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said messenger of allah i am undone Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what has brought about your ruin he said i have had intercourse with my wife during the month of ramadan upon this he rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said can you find a slave to set him free as an expiation he said no he rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam again said can you observe fast for two consecutive months 60 days he said no Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said can you provide food to 60 poor people so th- these are the three ways to expiate to to atone for breaking the fast in ramadan intentionally so he cannot even fast uh, feed 60 people he said no he then sat down and in the meanwhile there was brought to the apostle of allah a basket which contained dates Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said give these dates in charity meaning to 60 people he the man said am i to give to one who is poorer than i there is no family poorer than mine between the two plains of madina the apostle of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam laughed so much that his molar teeth became visible and said go and give it to your family to eat so the three uh, ways to atone for breaking fast in this month uh, are free a slave observe fast for two consecutive months or feed 60 poor persons itikaf aisha radhiyallahu anha said rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to observe itikaf in the last 10 days of ramadan till allah called him back to his heavenly home then his wives observed itikaf after him and he said they are prevented from all sins those who perform itikaf and they obtain thawab as they are rendering all good deeds even though they are in in itikaf they get reward as if they are rendering all sorts of good deeds during itikaf even though they are not performing those good deeds hadith from bukhari on fasting uh, i picked only 5 from 111 that i looked at uh, one on etiquettes of fasting different from little different from what we saw from muslim and by the way um, most of the hadith or many of the hadith that we uh, went over from muslim are also in bukhari rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever does not give up forged speech forged speech and evil actions allah is not in need of his living his food and drink that means will not accept his fasting cleaning teeth it is very much uh, uh, very much uh, emphasized by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the month of fasting and outside the month of fasting here it says i saw the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam cleaning his teeth with siwak while he was fasting so many times as i can't count and he is also reported to have said i fear that it would be hard for my followers but otherwise i would have made it obligatory for them i would have ordered them to clean their teeth for siwak on every siwak on every performance of ablution in in today's world you know uh, we can we can even even in the month of uh, fasting or during the time of fasting we can use that toothpaste without the paste iftar people will remain on the right path as long as they haste in the breaking of the fast 
And uh, my friend Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised me to observe three things, to fast three days a month, to pray two rakat of duha prayer, forenoon prayer, and to pray witr before sleeping. I never saw Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to fast on a day more preferable to him than this day, the day of Ashura, or this month, that is the month of Ramadan. Additional, just to complete it, in a generosity in Ramadan. He was in Ramadan uh, more generous than the fast wind in terms of Sadaqah. And Laylatul Qadr, you know, it's better than a thousand months. And uh, the person will be forgiven his previous sins uh, and uh, he will get reward as if he prayed for more than 1,000 months, 83 years and four months, for more than that. So, Taravi, yeah, Taravi, just to complete it, you know, it is a, a, a sunnah. And uh, somebody who observes fast and prays Taravi, he emerges from sin, purified as the day when his mother gave birth. And uh, his Taravi was in terms of beauty and length. Aisha Anha said, do not speak about the beauty and the length of the Taravi of Rasulullah So the highlights, I'll not go over the highlights. <laughs> time is over. I don't want to take more than the uh, allotted time. So Ramadan is the month of uh, Quran. We should recite the Quran. It's the month to inculcate uh, Taqwa is the month to show uh, mercy. Uh, it's a month of mercy. It's a month of forgiveness. It's a month of uh, emancipation from the fire of Jahannam, uh, from, uh, from Allah. And we should also be merciful to the poor and to the deserving. It's a season of reward as uh, uh, Dr. S.K. Alam likes to say uh, Allah Ta'ala puts everything on sale in this month and it is for us to, to um, acquire as much of possession as we can for the eternal journey. And it's a month to train ourselves for the remaining 11 months. It's a month for which the reward will be given by Allah Ta'ala in his own, in his own hands. So Hassan Jamal Muhammad Kamal, he passed away. He's from the third batch, period number 98. We will pray for him. He worked as far as, far as I know, his entire life in Kher, Bangladesh. He was uh, attacked by the coronavirus and uh, uh, he had to be put in, in uh, he had to be put in he had to be put in uh, life support. And also we will pray for Professor Muhammad Abdul Khalik Khan, a former principal who is uh, Mukaddam's Borodula Bhai, who died about four days ago, took care of Mukaddam because his mother died when he was uh, very small and took care of his sister. That, uh, uh, angelic person died uh, he, and he was also the the father-in-law of brigadier general jahangir alam from 15 batch and we will pray for uh, janab sayyid ashraful haq who's the uh, father-in-law of lieutenant general abdul hafiz retired 
who is in life support right now in CMH, and we will pray for all those who are suffering. From, from amongst us, outside us, from amongst uh, our, our neighbors, our countrymen, from our, our uh, uh, people of the world. And we'll pray for everybody, all Muslims and all mankind. We recite Surah Fatiha once and Surah Ikhlas three times. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Ina Sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Lazina an'amta alayhim. Gharil maktubi alayhim. Malatawami. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid. Malam yulad. Malam yatim. Allahu kufran ahad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad lam yalid alam yulad alam yakul lahu kufur ahad bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim kul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad lam yalid alam yulad alam yakul lahu kufur ahad bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad in kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim inna ka hamudu majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad in kama barik ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim inna ka hamudu majid اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت عليك توكلت وأنت رب العرش الكريم ما شاء الله كان وما لم يشاء لم يكون ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا لي لازم علم أن الله على كل شيء قدير وأن الله قد أحط بكل شيء علما اللهم إني أعوذ بك من شر النفس ومن شر كل دابة أنت حافظ بنصيحتها إن ربي على صراط مستقيم اللهم أسألك من خير ما سألك منه النبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استأذاك منه النبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أنت المستعان وليك البلاء ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي لا زيم ربنا إننا سمينا منادي أينا دين الإيمان أنا نمو بربكم فأمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا ربنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا ربنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا فكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وعاتنا ما وطنا على رسولك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وقتنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا توقت لنا به وأفوتنا وقفنا لنا وارخمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ओ अल्लाह तुम्हीं आमदर के जाके छु आमल कर रहे तो फिक्क दिए सो अल्लाह ए ए उति उत्तम माशे अल्लाह मोहन माशे अल्लाह तुम्हार मेहरबानी अल्लाह तुम्हीं आमदर के माफी रे कुछ लोगों तो फिक्क दिए सो अल्लाह ओ अल्लाह ओ अल्लाह जादर के तो फिक्क दाव नहीं तादर को तो फिक्क दाव अल्लाह तुम्हारे कोने खोती हो बेना शबाई के जहान ना में दिले तुम्हार कोने लाभ हो बेना अल्लाह वो अल्लाह तुम्हीं शबाई के हिदायत करो हिफाजत करो मकफिरत करो अल्लाह वो अल्लाह रहम करो अल्लाह वो अल्लाह मुझे जाके चु बालार एवं शोनार तो फिक दिए सो अल्लाह जाके चु पाठ करो तो फिक दिए सो तार बुल भ्रांति एवं तार सवा पहुँचे दियो हसान जमाल मोहम्मद कमाल रूहेर का सेहला एवं तार सवा पहुँचे दियो जनाब मरहूम जनाब मोहम्मद अब्दुल खालिक खान शाह बिर का सेहला एवं आमदेर मध्य जरा जरा इंतकाल करे सें तादेश शवाल का से पहुँचे दियो अल्लाह समस्त मुसलमान जातीन मध्य जरा इंतकाल करे सें तादेश शवाल का से पहुँचे दियो � प्रियोजन निकोडजन आपन जन जरा जरा कोबरों शाही तो तादेक आसे पहुँचे दियो अल्लाह वो अल्लाह आमदेर 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 अतियोश अतियोशा जन बंधु बंधु शिक्षक शिक्षक त्रि आमदेर कॉलेजेस स्टाफ जरा कोबरों शाही तो आमदेर कॉलेजेस हाथे जोरी तो जरा जरा कोबरों शाही तो शबर कासे पहुँचे दियो तथा � वाला तुम्हीं तादेव कबूर के जन्नतुल फिर दूसर बागान बनिए दियो तुम्हार शर्बत तुम बेवहार देखियो कबूरे अल्लाह तुम्हार आर्श नीचे छाया दियो क्या मो क्या मोते दीन तुम्हार शर्बत तुम बेवहार देखियो हाशरे दीन 
বিদ্যুতের গতিতে পুলসিরাত পার হওয়ার তৌফিক দিয়ে আল্লাহ তোমার সর্বোত্তম ব্যবহার দেখিও পুলসিরাত পার হওয়ার সময় আল্লাহ বিনা হিসাবে জন্নাতুল ফেরদৌসে দাখিল করো তোমার সর্বোত্তম ব্যবহার দেখিও জন্নাতুল ফেরদৌসে আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ আমাদেরকে উঁচু ইমা উঁচু স্তরের সর্বোচ্চ স্তরের ইমান দান করো আল্লাহ এবং সর্বোত্তম আমল করার তৌফিক দান করো আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ তোমার এলেম শিক্ষা করার তৌফিক দান করো উঠতে বসতে তোমাকে স্মরণ করার তৌফিক দান করো মানুষের সম্মান সাহায্য করার তাই দায়িত্ব পালন করার মানুষের প্রতি তৌফিক দান করো আল্লাহ মানুষের কাছে তোমার বাণী পৌঁছে দেওয়ার তৌফিক দান করো আল্লাহ সমস্ত কিছু তোমার তোমার কেবলমাত্র তোমার সন্তুষ্টির জন্য করার তৌফিক দান করো আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ তোমার ভালোবাসা সহকারে করার তৌফিক দান করো তোমার হাবিবের ভালোবাসা সহকারে করার তৌফিক দান করো আল্লাহ প্রতিটা মুহূর্তে নফসের নফসের তারণার থেকে শয়তানের ধোকার থেকে দুনিয়ার চাকচিকের থেকে আমাদেরকে হেফাজত করো এক মুহূর্তের জন্য ছেড়ে দিও না আল্লাহ এবং আমাদেরকে কবর পর্যন্ত কবর পর্যন্ত আমাদেরকে আগলে নিয়ে যেও এবং শয়তানের শেষ চেষ্টা ব্যর্থ করে দিও আল্লাহ যাতে করে কলেমা সহ আমরা আমরা মৃত্যুবরণ করতে পারি তোমার সন্তুষ্টি সহ আমরা মৃত্যুবরণ করতে পারি আল্লাহ আমাদের সাথে সাক্ষাৎ করার জন্য তুমি উৎসুক থাকতে পারো আল্লাহ সেই অবস্থায় আমাদের মৃত্যু দান করো আল্লাহ সেই অবস্থায় জীবন দান করো সেই অবস্থায় মৃত্যু দান করো আল্লাহ যাতে তোমার তোমার সাথে যখন সাক্ষাৎ করব তুমি তখন সন্তুষ্ট আল্লাহ অত্যন্ত সংক্ষিপ্ত জীবন তোমার সন্তুষ্টি সহকারে যাতে বাঁচতে পারি তোমার সন্তুষ্টি সহকারে যাতে যাতে এই পৃথিবী হতে বিদায় নিতে পারি আল্লাহ তুমি সেই প্রশিক দান করো আল্লাহ তুমি আমাদেরকে আপন করে নাও আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ তো আমরা চাইতে জানি না তোমার শান মতো দান করো আল্লাহ আমরা পানা চাইতে জানি না তোমার শান মতো পানা দান করো আল্লাহ আমাদেরকে আপন করে নাও আল্লাহ তোমার হাবিব যা কিছু চেয়েছিলেন তাই তোমার কাছে চাই আল্লাহ তোমার হাবিব যার থেকে পানা চেয়েছিলেন তুমি তা পূরণ করো আল্লাহ আমাদেরকে খালি হাতে ফিরিয়ে দিও না আল্লাহ কোনো কিছু যদি ক্ষতিকর হয় তার বদলা তুমি আখের হাতে দান করো আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ আমরা বিভিন্ন বিপদ আপদে হাত উঠিয়েছি আল্লাহ তুমি জানো আল্লাহ তুমি তা দূর করে দাও তুমি নিমেষের মধ্যে সমস্ত কিছু দূর করে দিতে পারো আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ আমরা বিভিন্ন অসুখ বিসুখের কারণে আমাদের হোক আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েদের হোক আমাদের আত্মীয় স্বজনের হোক আমাদের পাড়া প্রতিবেশীর হোক আমাদের দেশবাসীর হোক আমাদের বিশ্ববাসীর হোক আল্লাহ তুমি তা দূর করে দাও আল্লাহ আমাদেরকে হেদায়ত করো হেফাজত করো রহমত করো মাগফেরাত করো আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ আমার যে কারণে আমাদেরকে বালা মুসিবত দিয়েছো আল্লাহ সেই কারণ দূর করার জন্য আমাদেরকে হেদায়ত করো এবং আমাদেরকে মাফ চাওয়ার তফিক দান করো আল্লাহ এবং এবং বিপদ দূর করে দাও আল্লাহ ও আল্লাহ আমরা আমরা বড় বড় কঠিন বিপদের মধ্যে আছি আল্লাহ তুমি বিপদ দূর করে দাও আল্লাহ এর এর মাধ্যমে আমাদেরকে বুঝ দান করো আল্লাহ হেদায়ত দান করো আল্লাহ রাস্তা সঠিক করে দাও আল্লাহ তোমার সন্তুষ্টি অর্জন করার তফিক দান করো আল্লাহ মুশকিলাত <laughs> আলমিন <laughs> আমিনাহ <laughs> 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 <laughs>